What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for the collective. We're going to do a collective read, y'all. All right. The light was all up in my, my e-balls, okay? <laughs> all right. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to start. Okay. Let's see. What is going on with the collective? What is going on with the collective's energy? And y'all, if y'all see a stain on my shoulder, ignore it, okay? I was burping my daughter. She burped all on my on the shoulder okay what's going on with the collective all 12 zodiacs what's the overall energy for the collective please spirit oh the sun okay abundance what's going on with the collective please spirit I see a bug what bug is that it's on the window okay oh will of fortune okay okay oh i like this and mental conflict on the bottom of the deck okay this is like being stuck in your head, stalemate energy, indecisive. But the sun and this will of fortune, the sun is illumination. It's also abundance, happiness. And then the will of fortune is good luck turning. So there's a lot of good luck coming in. Yeah, toward, going towards a new beginning, six of swords and the full energy. There's a lot of like leaving behind the old, the, the rockiness, you know, the hard times, the difficult times, the drama, you know, all all that rocky stuff in the, in the traditional deck. It's uh, two people getting onto a boat and they're selling, like they're selling off and like there's, they're in these choppy waters, but they're getting, moving towards the calmer waters here. So if, if things have been rocky, you've been conflicted, you've been stuck in your head about certain things, uh, that is, that is clearing out. Things are going to start illuminating that uh, the good times are rolling in, basically. Uh, good things are going to start happening. The shift is happening here. If you feel like you've been on the bottom of the uh, wheel, you know, like getting bad luck and stuff like that, you'll be moving to the top. Okay. What's the sun? Prosperity and abundance. <laughs> a lot of y'all, this has to do with your finances. Um, a lot of you will be getting like payments coming in. Yeah. Affirmation for positive change. This is positive change. Okay. So like a lot of y'all will, your money will start growing. Uh, it will be more prosperous here. And just overall life, like uh, you'll start to see a shift in life, 222 on the phone, um, like good things happening. Like it won't be dreary, like more sunny days, more happy days. You know, like when the, when the summertime come around, you start seeing people outside, the energy, it's like the energy picks up. Uh, people are, are like more loving and caring until they get like real, real hot, you know. Look, give love, yeah. More loving energy here. What's the destiny? Connect with Gaia. Yeah, this make sure you stay grounded. Get outside. Okay, get outside, ground yourself here, and go with the flow. Look, again, this is like that six of swords energy. It's kind of about releasing control and just kind of allowing things to happen. Like whatever changes need to happen, they're happening, they're coming in. Uh, things that need to be adjusted, they're being adjusted here. The will of fortune, it also comes with, you know, if people are meant to leave out your life, let them leave out your life. You know, some people may return. It just all depends. What's the sun, prosperity, and abundance? What's that about for the collective? <laughs> to the cups. Happiness. Oh, my goodness. This is wish fulfillment. This is beautiful. This is like harmony, abundance, domestic bliss. This could be like getting into a long-term connection, long-term relationship, reunions with people, happy family dynamic. You know, and this could also represent stability and children. Like a time of peace finally coming. Yeah, Knight of Wands, forward movement. Some of y'all could be moving homes or relocating or traveling as well. The Death card and the Ten of Pentacles. You got Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Man, this is good. The death represents, you know, a spiritual transformation. So, again, it's like if money wasn't too good, it's, it's going to be getting better. You're going to start seeing more money, more happiness. Okay, what's the destiny for the collective? What's the destiny card for the collective? Destiny card for the collective. Eight of Pentacles. All right, working. This could be you working on yourself, you working on your destiny, the Hierophant learning lessons. Some of y'all could be like going back to school. Justice card, Eight of Swords is here as well, along with the King of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this could be, you know, it's like karma. Again, karma's playing out. If somebody's been stuck in their head about something, like worried about finances, worried about stability, uh, worried about work, that's changing. That's changing. This is like being successful, wealthy, you know, a high status, stability coming in. 
some of y'all may be working a lot too though with connect with Gaia so make sure if you can when you get a chance especially with this eight of pentacles because you're patiently building on something um when you get a chance make sure you step back out and like reground yourself place your feet in the grass okay one moment yeah reground yourself place your feet in the grass you know make sure you're eating healthy drinking plenty of water here so that you can stay connected okay so let's see what's brewing then for the collective what is brewing for the collective let's see okay clarify the sun with prosperity and abundance what's going on with that don't want to hear it. Yeah, I see a lot of y'all, if it doesn't make you happy or it doesn't bring peace, I don't see y'all listening to it. I see y'all ignoring it. Yeah, nightmare. Yeah, some of y'all, they're, show they're showing me, if y'all have seen Baby Boy and uh, Jody's mom, she had that garden in the, in the backyard, and that was her peace. Yeah, she didn't care what nobody had to say, you know. She wasn't letting nobody come in there and disturb her little peaceful area. She was back there, <laughs> back there gardening and doing all kind of stuff, you know. That's what's going on. Crush, keeping a promise, tantric, S-E-X. So there could be somebody crushing on you here, okay? With this keeping a promise, this crushing, keeping a promise. This is like somebody, like they literally are crushing on you. They want to come towards you here. This person could be like, you know, we're not, it's not going to be no drama, you know, stuff, da, 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 da. And they're keeping that promise. They want to keep that with you here. Now, some of y'all, y'all could meet this person at the gym. Or y'all met this person at the gym. Mm. Some of y'all may find out that somebody may have like a history of like cheating. Okay. And it's about to be illuminated. And um, <laughs> they're going to try to like get rid of it. We have gym and burning evidence. They're going to try to, like, get rid of this, this evidence that they used to, like, sleep around. Yeah, destroyed, shattered, broken, effed up. Like, they're trying to, like, because they got a crush on you and they want to, like, come towards you. So, they're kind of, like, trying to cover up their history. It's kind of, like, <laughs> it's kind of, like, don't listen to what people say. You know, I really, I really want to, oh, honey, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this now. We have bad choices, insecure, and nightmare. This could have been somebody's past, okay? This could be being illuminated towards somebody or this is what has been illuminated and you've kind of distanced yourself away from it. Others of you, you may be walking into that and you may just kind of be like, I don't want to hear it. You know, I don't want to hear the excuses or whatever. Can I have one more on this sun with the prosperity and abundance? Under spiritual attack. One second. This could have to do with somebody's past. Like somebody could be trying to like... Um, come to you and talk about somebody's past or like this could be what happened to you okay with that under spiritual attack and somebody's like i don't even i don't want to hear it you know don't come disturbing my peace this could be you know information that comes out about somebody else's well yeah over it tired of drama game over this could be a situation where you ended a relationship with somebody you put an ending with somebody here because they were cheating or something like that and somebody could be trying to come bring that information back to you and you don't want to hear it yeah getting played and in, investigating within their feels something else somebody's in their feelings about it. this could have been somebody that cheated on you and they want to kind of like just bear the hatchet from the past you know energy uh but caution and over it tired of drama i feel like you're just you're being careful about who you allow into your your happiness your peace or what you're illuminating to people like what you're doing and stuff like that because you don't want somebody especially if it's like a relationship or a connection you don't want somebody like um uh, intervening and causing any type of negativity towards this here um or disturb your home life so what's the destiny we connect with gaia what's that riding it out yeah some of y'all if you're if you have a job i see you staying there uh planting roots if you just got into a relationship i see you uh staying connected to that relationship working on it putting in the work yeah, some of you pregnancy tests, like you, maybe you weren't sure if this was going to turn into something or not or grow into something. You could have thought it was just a, you know, a casual hookup. But I see that it actually may move forward here. We have crush arguments, putting them in their place and running away. My goodness. So some of y'all are just standing your ground on something. Somebody could be trying to run from it or this could be you running away from this drama here because you're like, nope. 
I, I want to stay on the good side of karma type of energy. What's the destiny with Connect with Gaia? <laughs> Somebody could try to tempt you. What's destiny with Connect with Gaia? Bad choice. Okay, yeah, somebody may want you to make a bad choice. <laughs> Sick. I would be careful. This could be like, you know, a sexual demon, you know, Jezebel spirit type of energy. But this could also be like if somebody wants you to like, you know, sleep with them or something like that. They could have, you know, you know, a STD. Okay. Insecure depression and a situation is about to explode. Ish is about to pop off up in flames here. So again, you could hear... Here's something about somebody's insecurities and depression here. You know, something's about to come to a head. Just make sure you stay grounded and focus on your plate. <laughs> okay. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but they keep reiterating. Okay. What type of drama is going on? <laughs> okay, spirit. What's the sun with prosperity and abundance? What's the sun with prosperity and abundance? Fake account. Some of y'all got people watching y'all from a fake account, okay? And it's because you're showing up unfazed. Like, you're you're showing up as happy and, like, just abundant, like, just enjoying life. And people just want to be all up in your business, okay? What's going on with the sun, the prosperity, and abundance? What did I just say? Call, call the case. Sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, and etc. I'm telling you, look, people, uh, uh-uh, bad karma. Y'all got something's about to be illuminated by who slept with who, who been messing around with who. Somebody can find out that they got a an STD and honey you gonna be over here like honey I do not care it is none of my business like I'm just I'm tending to my children or my fur babies my home I got laundry to do I do not care what's going on okay <laughs> what's the sun with prosperity and abundance here low IQ yeah it's some type of low vibrational energy this could have been somebody that ghosted you we have ghosted disappearing ghosting in and out they could have ghosted you or were in and out with you and didn't give you a commitment, but it's like you kind of just moved on and found peace and happiness without it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Scarcity tactic. So it's like this is how somebody's gonna try to get your attention. Or this could be somebody just spreading rumors and you just like, I'm so look. Romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover, F buddy, right? And then you have clout hungry. So somebody could just be wanting some attention. So they may, you know, be like, well, so-and-so stuff with so-and-so. It's just like stirring a pot, getting some stuff started, honey. And they may use your name for clout or they may try to like drag you in it. And the spirit is saying, don't get involved. Okay, act like you don't hear it. It says, don't want to hear it. Act like you don't want to hear it. You don't care. It's not your business. Okay, <laughs> what's the destiny? Let's connect with Gaia. We have grudge holder. Uh, okay. Haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, and side effects. Okay, acting code. Some of y'all, this is somebody that has a grudge against you because, like, good things are turning in your favor. Luck is it on your side here. Um, these are people that have made bad choices for themselves, whether that it was to disconnect from you, try to slander you, talk down on you, whatever. Okay, um, but they could feel some type of way. It's like the proof is in the pudding, photo proof, getting evidence. The proof is in the pudding about your hard work and patience and dedication paying off for you. So this is why you're in this happiness and abundance energy. So um, with this riding it out and bad choices, some people could have chose not to come with you on this journey. You know, your journey is your journey. It's, it's your own journey. So they're not required to. But these are people that could have went against you. Uh, went against the grain, didn't believe in you, um, didn't support you, didn't uplift you. And now they could be holding a grudge against you because it's like your money is building up. It's like this isn't... This isn't one or two pentacles. This is eight pentacles. Like, this is a lot of stability. And again, uh, what was on the bottom? No, what was on the top? One of the ten of pentacles down there? Hold on. Look. Ten of pentacles, seven of pentacles, five of pentacles, and the higher fence. Some people are going from the ten of pentacles to the five of pentacles, and they're learning lessons. Others of you are going from... The five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles to the ten of cups. So you're like growing. And some of y'all are working on it. You haven't made it to the ten of pentacles yet. You're at the eight. So you're building and growing here. So if there's some people that you had to cut off or, you know, become cold and detached to, or they treated you this way, they're realizing they made a bad choice. Can I have another one? With that destiny and connect with that. Yeah, screenshots, getting evidence and proof and, uh, proof and facts. 
because it's like it's showing whatever this is that you're doing is showing off yeah same it's just a different day love on the brain dreaming fantasizing daydreaming nostalgic extra triggered these are people that you have memory memories with you had like you spent a lot of time with you you enjoy good times with you could be very nostalgic about them here they're triggered about this because it's like when they sit back and think about you they see how you have grown and transformed your life and they're kind of stuck in the same position here confused in their head yeah they're confused in their head overthinking stressed over analyzing it's like they can't understand how can you how is all this good luck happening for you how are you staying grounded like this how are you staying happy and abundant and blessed and it's because what they don't realize is because all of this negative energy that they were sending towards you all this low vibe energy that they were doing that's the reason why these are people that spoke down on you you know said that you were this said that you were that tried to destroy your happy home whether it was like a marriage a commitment a relationship or you and your kids whatever it's like somebody really tried to destroy your happiness and your abundance only for them to be completely left out in the cold and have to sit back and watch you continue to build and grow so if you had the happiness when it came to the ten of cups like you and your children you and your lover you know stuff like that now the money's about to start coming in okay yeah curious about you yeah queen rising so i could be single parents this is about you stepping into your power uh with the c blocking i can't say the word sorry and spiritual hater this could be you could have prophesized this you could have spoke this into existence you could have told people like hey you know i got this coming i got this and they just didn't believe you they didn't support you and now the proof is in the pudding they could have tried to block you this could have just been like somebody saying like oh you'll never get that done or that'll never take off for you and it's like it's proof they can't deny with the screenshots they can't deny this here but now you you kind of if you're the one in this acting cold energy it's kind of like we're just emotionally detached there's no emotions there you know it's kind of like i love you from a distance you know i still love you but i love you from a distance but it's not as um you know nurturing as it used to be others of you this is what people did to you they cut you off like you you didn't matter you know so just use discernment when it comes to certain people trying to come back into your life. Some of them um, have grudges against you. So I don't like that. But <laughs> all right, I'm going to leave it there. No, let's pull a couple more cards here. Let's pull some fortune cookies. Okay, spirit, what do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? The collective. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck. Personal riches. Small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get rich schemes. Okay. Get rich quick schemes. Now we do also have a search yourself. Go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. Birth of a child also likely. So the ones of, the ones of you that want to have a child, you could be getting news on that. That could be what's bringing you happiness. Others of you, this could be a relationship, a connection, blending families, uh, whichever you prefer. Or for babies. Twists and turns, carefully made plans can be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with all the upheaval. So, you know, as the wheel is turning and things are changing in your life for you, you know, unfortunately, in order to make room, certain things have to be moved out in order for new things to come in. So, you know, just be prepared. There's going to be some people that feel some type of way because you kind of pushing them out of your life or you becoming cold towards them or you're detaching. But these are the people that made bad choices to either go against you, speak against you, speak down on you, you know, not support you, that type of energy. And then we have care required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. So, again, just be cautious of the people you keep in your energy, you keep around, you work with, partner up with, get into a relationship with. And um, if somebody's already showed you their hand or they've showed you that they're a snake, believe it, they only shed to become a bigger snake. So, all right now, this is what I have for you, Collective. Hope it brings you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.